Statistics are great if you know how to use them, but I see league players misinterpret statistics all the time. Today I'm specifically talking about win rates and how players misuse them. So these are my top five myths about win rates. My first myth is that, come on, let's go. <laughs> if you have a champion with a higher win rate than your others or a higher KDA or anything else like that, people might say, oh, you're better at that champion. And here's why that's a myth. My Darius has like a 51% win rate. My Malphite has like a 61% win rate. So it might be easy to say, oh, you're way better at Malphite than you are at Darius. I disagree with that. The reason my Darius win rate is about 50% is because I will blind pick Darius all the time and I will end up in some terrible matchups. So that really impacts my win rate. But Malphite on the other hand, I play him a lot when I'm last pick. I see 4 AD on the other team. I say this is a great game for Malphite, so I pick him. It doesn't mean I'm better at Malphite, it just means I play Malphite in better scenarios. My second myth is that all champions should be 50% win rate to be balanced. I know not everybody believes this, but it seems to be a pretty common sentiment that if anybody's over 50% win rate, they're just OP. I think plenty of champions should be over 50% win rate. I think champs like Garen should be over 50% win rate because like the average person should be able to pick them up and play them and not tank the win rate. Versus somebody like Kiana should be like 48% win rate for the average person. But then Kiana's one trick ponies are going to crush on her. Because she's actually a difficult champ. The third thing people do wrong all the time is when they use a small sample size for anything. And I know a lot of the time they're just being disingenuous. Like they don't even believe what they're saying. But when they're like, oh, you have a 33% win rate on this champ. Yeah, out of three games, it's impossible to have a 50% win rate. It's impossible to have close to a 50% win rate. I mean, even if it's like over 15 games, it's not like you have control over what happens all the time in all 15 of those games. You really don't. You're so reliant on your teammates. So you could easily have like a 40% or a 60% over the course of 20 games just based on, oh, somebody AFK'd this game and we lost for free. Somebody went you know, two and six bot lane and we lost. Like, you just, you can't judge based on small sample sizes. Now seems like a great time for number four, which is that just because a champion has a low win rate or like a low win rate in that specific matchup doesn't mean that they're easy to play against. Like, Gangplank might have a sub 50% win rate, but I find him incredibly oppressive in lane. He's just, he's difficult to use, so a good Gangplank is going to be really good. And on top of that, it, it doesn't make laning any easier that he doesn't win games. <laughs> Similarly, I think people hate playing against Yumi, and she has one of the lowest win rates in the game. I think this is good. Seems pretty worth it. So this last one is that you can't just blindly take statistics and say, oh, I know what's going to win this game. I know what to build based on win rate. Like, I saw a Kane maybe a month ago build Serpent's Fang against a team with not a single shield. And he said, it's the highest win rate in the game. Okay. Yeah, because in the 2% of games that it's built, the Kane is smart and sees the enemy has five shields. I'm going to build Serpent's Fang. I'm going to get a ton of value. If you're not getting value, you don't want to build it. A more generic example is on the AD carries that sometimes build Hurricane. They don't always build Hurricane, they sometimes do. You don't want to pick it based on win rate, you want to pick it based on how many melees does the enemy have, how much of the time am I actually going to be using it, how much value am I getting out of it, versus what other item can I build and how much value would I get out of that. Or people will say like, Lethality Caitlyn has a 57% win rate with three items. Okay, almost every champion has a pretty good win rate with three items because... Because... 
<laughs> like, a lot of the times when you're winning games, the enemy AD carry has three and a half items, and your AD carry is sitting on two and a half items because they're down 3,000 gold. That's just how League works. If you get to three items in a lot of games, it's going to end before the enemy does. I, I'm not talking about 40-minute games. I'm talking about that 57% win rate. That's game. All right. <sighs> well, my entire point is that statistics are great, but you have to know how to use them.